Oh, this is completely new. I did not know Nidhogg had a sequel, but it does. And it's more or less completely the same, but with complete, with slightly different looking characters. We, we just say it's expanded. There's different weapons and character actually is more than just a vague shape of color. So, but let's just... And it's infuriating against playing against computer because computer is the old school button reading so invincible that un unless it decides that it lets you win you won't win it's it's on it's always better than you because it's, it's computer it knows what you're doing before you know before the character itself knows so but let's just check out the how the basic game should go with with the tournament mode of just characters going uh, oh oh I, ca I can't make it I have to put it a uh, I have to be several controllers and it would be a hassle to put them all on but you can change the character's appearance let's take this like blue there's chance to Put all kinds of different accessories like shirts, like beards, different haircuts, like bold and different pants. Yeah, characters can be customized. So let's just check the castle stage and see and show what kind of game this is. Yeah, there's different weapons. But the basic gameplay is still the same. You got different weapons. You fence against enemies. Uh, they die. You run around. Yep. 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 And uh, then you get killed. Uh, oh yeah. As long as you can keep the kill streak going. I personally found that it's easier than to just fight is to just try to run past your enemies. Unless of course it happens like that, complete su super fast uh, timing. And there's even less of a, any kind, uh, oh yeah, look at that. Completely super fast, invincible pointing. And of course, winner of the round gets eaten by Nidhogg, which looks real creepy. And that's the game. You run around, kill, and you get eaten by Nidhogg. Same as, same as before. <laughs>